What's up, besties? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Scala Felice. If you are new here, hey boo. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because today you're going to love today's video. Okay, like I was super excited to show y'all the builds that I found on the gallery. And also, anyway. I have more heat coming your way for the month of February. So make sure you stay tuned by following all of my social medias linked in the description and show this video love with a big thumbs up so I can feel the love. Not only does it help the channel, but it helps me to learn what you guys want from me, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right in. I don't want to waste any more time. Today, we are using my girl Sahara from my current Let's Play series. She's got it. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. It's in my playlist and you're not going to regret it, okay? We got so much in store for her. So I just have to add that little plug in there for y'all. So as we all know, Love Day is upon us. So these first couple of builds are going to be so very perfect for date night or if you're just looking to put a little love into your sims life. First up, we have this romantic retro restaurant. It is on a 30 by 20 lot and it only uses dine out and get together. It is absolutely gorgeous. And when I tell you the ambiance in here is everything. outdoor seating either on the patio or the balcony as well as indoor this build exudes excellence attire is formal so make sure your sim is dressed in their sunday best or the host or the waitresses will outshine them okay red and black decor give this build the perfect valentine's day or just a romantic theme overall and the stereos throughout it will have your sim feeling so flirtatious there are instruments all throughout this restaurant so you can personalize your experience by hiring entertainers and then pop in the big question or if you just prefer to have some nice alone time this build has one of the most beautiful secluded spaces draped in red curtains and just beautiful ambiance okay like it has a tv it has everything that your sim will need to have a very beautiful night out with their significant other or just somebody that they're getting to know it doesn't matter baby if you bring somebody here you're probably looking to keep them because this restaurant is just everything for a romantic experience the next build is perfect for a romantic getaway in Mount Komorebi. Bundled up and cuddled together or relaxed and steamy, soaked in a hot spring, the Igloo Camping Resort by RG Tech is a 30 by 20 paradise. Now this one uses mini packs, so it leaves room for you to customize it to your liking. And the creator also has the Igloo build separate on their catalog just for this purpose. So if your sim is looking for a cozy alone time with their significant other, then baby, book that trip. This adventurous getaway is perfect for Valentine's Day. One thing is for sure and two for certain, not every sim is into the luxurious lifestyle. Some sims are content in mother nature's bliss. So the Hawthorne Botanica is a beautiful scenic route to take on Valentine's Day. This build is quite big. It's set at a 64 by 64, but big shout out to the Ruby Rams because when I searched Botanica, I did not expect to get this beautiful, lovely indoor creation. Now, I cannot wait to take my sims here as a nature lover myself because as y'all can see, they have spaces for you to paint from reference if you want to and I'm pretty sure those will turn out beautiful. You can even take pictures of your sims lovers and use them as reference, okay? It's giving a little titanic moment. But this place has everything for your sim and it is even got an outdoor space suited for events. So definitely check out the Hawthorne Botanica. The next stop on our perfect date night excursion is going to be the Outdoor Cinema and Bar by Interstellar Sim. Now this is on a 20 by 15 lot and it only uses movie hangout, cool kitchen, get together, get to work, and spa day. So not that many packs to choose from, but I'm pretty sure that even if you don't have one of those packs, you still can make this lot work. Now if you're a movie goer, get in 
and let's go to the cinema because one of my favorite things about this lot right here is that it is outside it does have concession and it does even have a bar for your sims to enjoy a nice little snack or drink as they watch a movie with friends or lovers Speaking of proposals, have you ever dreamed of giving your sim a proposal to die for? Not literally, because you know these sims be dying of anything. But now we can give them the best cinematic romantic proposal at the ruins. This 20 by 15 lot is by Shanae27 and it even has a romantic indoor honeymoon space. Upstairs, you'll find a scenic proposal set up, but downstairs, your sim can relax with a nice spa bath, romantic massages, cooking together, or comfy alone time. A round of applause for this unique sweet treat. Y'all, the last build for this perfect date night, honey. I fell in love with this last date night build. From the lighthouse architecture to the romantic aura, the lighthouse bar and grill by Dippy Designs is an amazing choice. I love the color scheme because it definitely gives dinner by the sea. And my favorite part is that the menu actually matches the aesthetic okay no you cannot get a grilled cheese baby take the shrimp okay i love that you can choose between outdoor or indoor seating and then if you're not feeling having a big meal tonight you can go upstairs and just stop by the bar for a little drinky drink now i placed this in san sequoia because i felt like it just matched the vibe of san sequoia like just look out into the ocean and you can even spot an actual lighthouse over on the sea like it's just giving everything that it needs to give and i just feel like the choices that we chose for a date night were unmatched okay like i cannot believe these were gallery builds talk to me nice okay On to some family themes, the next groovy little roller disco bowling alley build is by Alexa Jade G. And baby, this is so fun! With its neon lights and nostalgic ambiance, a family outing here with your sims is sure to go down in the books. In my opinion, sims team did their big one by giving us activities like skating, bowling, and movies because it allows people to insert realism into their game without mods. But just look at this, it looks like a fun night out. I just really cannot wait to use this in my own game. I be showing y'all these builds from the gallery or just anything that I download and just know that I'm sitting here excited to use it as well. Like this is for y'all but this is for me too because I can't I can't even wait for real for real. Let me know in the comments how do you have fun with your Sims family? Next up, we have this cute little ice rink by Koki Creative. And y'all, I actually found this one on Twitter. So once again, if you're not following my other social medias and you have them, follow me, bestie. Because sometimes I may retweet builds or things like that that I find. And y'all, as y'all can see, this is so freaking beautiful. If you have a um, sim that enjoys to ice skate, this build actually looks super professional. It looks like you can come ice skate, do some um, hockey playing, or whatever you may do at an ice rink. Because I myself have never been to one. But I would still love to take my sims family here and let them enjoy it. And as y'all can see upstairs they also have like a little area where you can come and party a little bit so if you were trying to have an event this would make it the perfect space grab your swimsuit in shades because we're headed to oasis springs 
Oasis Water Park by Ohi underscore McFly is base game friendly. Did you catch that? Base game only. So you can come enjoy this water park even if you don't have all the packs. I thought this was a really good replacement for the park and a perfect way to spend a summer day. For the last category of today, let's go ahead and get into some bills that exude realism. Every one of these last bills are bound to be found in real life in any city, so I definitely had to add these. So next up, what we have here is a thrift store, and this is by Elima Jonun. I don't know, Elima J Unknown, baby, I don't know, but um, Elima or Elma, baby, you did your thing. You did your thing and i'm sorry if i mispronounced the name but this right here is giving me nostalgia like it's giving me hidden gem when you walk into a place like this expect to find some great throwback fits okay you might find some von dutch up in here for the low ski you might find some baby fat and be able to bring it back this is for the girls who love to do thrift flips okay this is so freaking nice it even has a dressing room inside and you are bound to find some good finds up in here for real Next up, we have this photo studio cafe bar by Parla Provaz, and this is just everything to me. It reminds me of when we were children and we used to go to JCPenney's to get our picture taken with the family. And I just feel like this is a perfect lot if you are trying to incorporate some family things into your gameplay. You can have your family come here and take some pictures and portraits or whatnot to put up on your Sims wall. And you can also come and grab a little snack because there is a cafe over in it as well and it looks like if you have a photographer sim they can actually live here because upstairs we have a bedroom and a bathroom as well the minimalistic vibe in here is everything okay like it is giving minimalistic supremacy it is so cute in here The new Crest Shopping Avenue by Marge Ox Create is definitely a one-stop shop, okay? This creator did a beautiful thing with this slot because they put a clothing store, a bakery shop, as well as a bookstore on one lot and still left room for a little patio space and just a space to get together with your family and friends or whatnot. And I just thought this was so cute. So whether you're stopping in to get a sweet treat in this little bakery shop here or if you're trying to stop by and get something to wear at the clothing store or even if you're a book fiend like me and you want to stop at the bookstore to see what they have you can come up in here and find whatever you need so i thought this was really cute for today's video because it's just a unique little thing and i love when creators put a lot of builds onto one lot and then we can come and enjoy ourselves here this is actually set as retail so you know you're here for a good time Up next, we have another base game build by a creator whose name I cannot pronounce, but this is a gorgeous base game gym slash pool lot. Now, I thought this was really cute because once again, it's base game. Anybody that can make a base game build look this stunning is amazing okay but it has everything you need from treadmills to boxing uh punching bags and then out back you can come for a nice little dip after you sweated it all out honey so i definitely think that this was the perfect gym build to add into our video today Okay, y'all, so the last build of the day definitely stole my heart because it's giving amusement park in The Sims 4. Okay, 
this is a splash park by RG Tech, who is an amazing creator or builder, shall I say, on the gallery, by the way. So definitely check out more than the two that I've given you today. But y'all, this splash park is so freaking cute. I loved it. The first moment I saw it, I was like, yes, I need this so that I can take my children's sims to this splash park. OK, look how amazingly created it is, like everything from the color scheme, which is giving tropical. Then we have a gift shop, which is giving souvenir. And then we have all of these wonderful things that we can do here. We can go play in the splash pads, chill up in the pool if we want to just relax, giving lazy river like I just love this build from top to bottom the only thing i will say for this build is that you do need to go in and add like a door or something because for some reason with mine i'm not sure if i'm missing a specific pack but um i couldn't get into into the park until i put a door so i don't know if you guys will have the same party problem but that's just a heads up for you guys but other than that amazing 10 out of 10 definitely would recommend but anyways guys thank you so much if you watched today's video to the end if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up so that i can reach the algorithm and get us more besties thank you so much for giving me 14 000 besties on the channel without y'all y'all i don't think i would be this motivated to sit up and edit seven hours into a 15 minute video but for you guys i will okay thank you again and i love you guys so much i'll see you in the next video